Jack, the current champion of the Ring of the Hulk. Whatever. If you want to get in the ring with me, get in the ring with me, and I'll make you do the job. I will knock your ass out with a Hit you in the dick. Make you go click. Wild Wild West. New Jack. All right, it's the king of the smack. Now let's get on with the video before I attack. Last time out on Ring of the Hawk season three, we saw MJF fall just a fraction short of taking the title off Hamada. It wasn't like that run wasn't good. It was really great. I just didn't quite have as much fun watching it back. But we have a second chance to beat her today because a former Ring of the Hawk champion from season one is back on the show. And of course, if you know a wrestler who could do the J-O-B to the H-J, W-K, any night, any day, ha ha, shove their name in the comments, Jack. Okay, it's New Jack. Every time you thought you saw the last of him, he's back. Yes, it's New Jack again. We covered his Smoky Mountain run and his TNA run. Since New Jack's passing, he seems to have gotten even more popular. I'm not sure if this is just a thing on my channel, but when I held a fan vote and he's putting up Ric Flair numbers, I'm just blown away. And FYI, I'm not going to ask anyone to vote on that Flair run again. I am just going to do that video this month. In order for New Jack to beat Hamada today, I'm going to need to see a bit more from his TNA run, really. Crazy intense promos, entertainment, and willingness to put his body on the line for the Hawk. The company we'll be watching today is XPW, so be prepared for the video footage to vary in quality. It's not as if there's a WWE network for this stuff. The order of the matches is hard to follow too, and I doubt I'll be able to show you every match he had for the company, but I'm going to try my best. XPW surprisingly wasn't born out of the ashes of ECW, but it was a hardcore wrestling promotion on the west coast for the first few years. It outlived ECW, which meant when ECW closed its doors in 2001, a lot of their workers found their way into extreme pro wrestling. And I want you to take note of one specific moment from New Jack and ECW, because this will be very relevant to today's video. At ECW Living Dangerous C2000, New Jack and Baldy member Vic Grimes ended up fighting on scaffolding 40 foot in the air. And both men end up taking a tumble, with New Jack definitely getting the worst of it as Grimes lands on top of him. Jack suffered a broken leg, brain damage, and was permanently blinded in his right eye. The story is that Grimes got scared and didn't want to do the table dive, but they were on pay-per-view and had agreed on it before the show. Jack forced him to take the dive by dragging him off the scaffolding. During Jack's hospitalisation, Grimes apparently never called him, so these two guys hate each other and it's personal. So you'd think the smart money would be on keeping them away from each other. But this is XPW. This company has a terrible reputation as genuinely disliked for not caring about his workers' safety. Sounds like the perfect place for New Jack to flourish then. And most of this New Jack run takes place in 2001 and 2002, just before his TNA run started. So at least he's not past it, and I guess maybe this run is so good that it forced TNA to hire him? Well, let's find out. The first thing that happens with New Jack when he debuts is he attacks Vic Grimes. This isn't going to end well, is it? Match 1, New Jack versus Dynamite D. Starts with Dynamite making fun of Jack's lack of wrestling skill. Jack retaliates saying he'll rip his nuts off. The ref is late and New Jack calls him a punk. Jack starts with a shoulder knockdown and a hip toss and an arm drag. The comments say how exciting this is. Jack smashes his opponent and stays on top of him. He starts throwing punches. New Jack asks for the mic again. He doesn't get it. This distraction for New Jack is a bad idea because Dynamite D hits him with a headlock takeover and some arm drags of his own. Dynamite tries to knock out New Jack, who manages to wriggle out of the ring. He looks livid and throws a trash can in the ring. Two crutch shots later and Jack is definitely winning again. I'm not sure where you would even get a sickle from, but New Jack has one. The match heads out the ring. Nothing happens. Back in the ring, New Jack smacks him in the slash zone. Dynamite hits New Jack with a beta max. New Jack isn't hurt and he staples him in the nutsack. What a clothesline this is from New Jack now. Shades of mobster moron Jay Bradley. It's just a two count. Dynamite manages to scoop slam New Jack and tries a splash or a headbutt. I don't know which, but he misses it. New Jack uses this as a chance to hit his own dive, but the differences are it's a diving trash can shot and he actually hits it. That's over. The match sucked. They tried to make New Jack wrestle instead of him doing what he's best at. A terrible debut match, it's an S. Such Not Sonny a good Siaki's start. Ass. Match two, tag match. The Messiah and Vic Grimes versus Bam Bam Medium and our guy New Jack. New Jack lands a trash can shot straight away. As you would expect, it doesn't take long for New Jack and Vic Grimes to start battering each other. Vic Grimes laughs after using a pizza cutter on New Jack. Jack is pretty used to getting cut and he's fine. He fights Grimes into the crowd. He looks like he's about to use a chair, instead he gets a clothesline. We next see Jack taking a tumble down the rickety stand. The match is pretty hard to follow, and I'm not talking about the video quality. 
Vic Grimes gets a Burger King chant, probably the highlight of the match. They get back in the ring, but only for a second, and Vic Grimes delivers some elbows on the apron, and off they go again. I was in shock to see an actual wrestling move, Jack hits a suplex on the entrance ramp. I'm surprised they even had one. It feels like they're going on a long, never-ending walk. Jack slams him on his face. Something changes now though because New Jack fights Messiah for the first time, but it doesn't last two shakes of a lamb's tail before Jack smashes Vic Grimes with a chair again. Suddenly New Jack appears on top of the entranceway set up. The crowd chant New Jack. He dives with a crazy frog splash that I think went through the table. It's hard to see. Imagine doing this sort of thing for an outlaw mud promotion like this one. But the match will continue. Somehow they're back on their feet and Vic Grimes seems to be on top. He makes it back to the ring where he fights Supreme. These two look like fucking twins. Rob Black, the owner of XPW, is trying to spray some tables with petrol. Messiah takes over that task. And the whole ring looks like it's set on fire as New Jack is suplexed for a table and his partner is powerbombed. New Jack runs around the ring on fire for about 10 seconds, almost setting fire to an OnlyFans star around the ringside. Why are the crew more interested in extinguishing the fire in the ring? What about the man who's on fire? A pin is made for the free, but the arena is so filled with smoke it's hard to see who won it. Everybody looks like they've been hit with cars in the post-match. Jack eventually makes it back into the ring to celebrate, so I guess they won. Who knows? This double table flaming spot got XPW kicked out of the building in Patriot Hall. I looked it up for you all anyway, and New Jack's team apparently lost. Anyway, I have to say, New Jack certainly did what the Hawk needed him to do in this match, and he put his body on the line. Oh, it's yeah. an A from the Hawk. Match 3 for the XPW World Heavyweight title. The challenger is the Messiah with Rob Black and Lizzie Borden. No relation to Steve. And he takes on the champion, New Jack. No, the Hawk hasn't gone insane. Sabu was supposed to be the champion, but he's too injured to compete, and New Jack has been substituted in for him. Here's a trash can full of weapons, and he immediately smacks down Messiah. Metal plates, a crutch, a staple gun. Yeah, New Jack uses them all. Check out this wooden pole with nails shot, or should I say lack of shot. Messiah falls down way too soon. That's only going to anger New Jack, making him look stupid like that. New Jack taunts the owner of XPW, Rob Black. He proceeds to hit a metal sign with a golf club into the nutsack. The crowd liked that one. Now it's a headbutt to the nutsack. Jack keeps giving Rob Black a beautiful smile. The match finally turns because New Jack's too distracted taunting people. Messiah desperately hits him in the head with every weapon under the sun. They head out the ring and New Jack uses a cheese grater to turn the match around. I almost thought we were about to get an athletic wrestling move in this match, but instead Messiah sort of springs into the ring and awkwardly drops his fist. A chair is put on New Jack and... Wow, asking you shall receive, Messiah hits a lion salt on top of New Jack. Just the two count. Do you know what New Jack and Slapnuts both have in common? They both specialise in guitars. Just a two count for New Jack. Jack gets another two on a trash can lid shot. The Cormorant team tell us what a treat this main event is. What are they on about? I'm almost falling asleep here. Please do something, New Jack. New Jack is sent into the corner and as he comes back out, he's hit with a Death Valley driver. Somehow there's a rope break rule in this environment. Messiah keeps smacking New Jack and you can clearly hear New Jack scream, you punch like a bitch. This fires both the crowd and the Messiah up. Messiah suplexes Jack for another two count. After a bit of effort, Messiah manages to get New Jack up on his shoulders again to hit a TKO this time. And just like that, it's over. Complete anti-climax. I'm sorry to say the match ends without New Jack doing anything. There's a big post-match brawl as usual involving Rick Grimes. New Jack appears on top of a balcony again and Jesus, he falls like a leaf in the wind on top of Grimes. The table just collapses, it doesn't even break. That one looked insane. Jack's back up seconds later, sort of limping around the ring with happiness. That's it. Look, to be honest, the match bored me to tears, and one insane dive after the match isn't going to save it. This match was 10 minutes of nothing, and it was supposed to be a main event match. And he lost Sabu's belt. Giving it a C, which I think is fair. Now let's move on. Match 4, Triple Threat. The quality of this one makes me want to smack my Mac, so make it quick or you might break my back. It's John Cronus versus... Homeless Jimmy. I wonder if he's related to the homeless man from Rink King. They start fighting, and of course the third man in this match is New Jack, better late than never. Jack uses his crutch on Cronus, but his onslaught is stopped by the homeless man. Jack eventually wakes up and smacks him back with a trash can. Jack staples Cronus in the nutsack before getting smashed with a keyboard. Jack's using a hammer now, but that's stopped by Cronus with a super kick. Finally, Jack finds an advantage by using a broom. It's the most control anyone's had in this match. He smacks a kid's pool table into the homeless man. Cronus is back though and he takes out New Jack. Later, New Jack stands around waiting and watching a count take place, just so he can smack the homeless man in the head when he gets up. What's the plan if that happens to be a free count? And on another note, when did Cronus get so fat? He seems to be in pretty good shape during ECW. Jack stops 10 punches in the corner and takes out the homeless guy to a good crowd pop. 
He wraps a chair around Cronus' head now and he launches him out the ring. It's just a load of senseless violence, none of it means much. Jack uses a guitar on the homeless man which leads to Cronus hitting a 450. Jack breaks up the pin. He suplexes the homeless man and now New Jack is climbing to the top rope holding the kid's pool table. He dives and smashes it on the homeless man and that is a free count. Well that match sucked. How come New Jack's t-shirts are all ripped up anyway? New Jack keeps attacking everyone after the bell, I guess he's a bad winner. He smashes Cronus with a clothesline and the attack just goes on and on and on. Some geeks try to break it up but Jack and Cronus work together to beat up the geeks. Eventually Jack and Cronus go back to fighting each other. If you were hoping that this is leading to another crazy dive spot, I'm going to have to disappoint you. It does lead to a New Jack promo though. He says he's in XPW because he wants to beat people up who think they're more hardcore than he is. Jack wants an XPW title shot. I guess he forgot he was the one who lost it for Sabu. He threatens to murder the champion messiah and his bitch. He chases a geek out of the arena and New Jack steals a U-Haul truck and chases after him in it. It's a D because of that ending, but it was certainly heading for the shove it zone before that. Match 5, Rumble Match. No entrances here, but this is the best footage I can find, so shove it. New Jack starts with the homeless man again, but it's not going well for New Jack here. He gets a hold of his trusty stapler and it goes better as New Jack has some fun with it. Not sure what the rules are in an XPW battle royal because they both fight with weapons on the outside of the ring and the commentary team make no effort to explain anything. Funny moment here after New Jack hits a lid into the nutsack, he does a funny camp celebration. New Jack dives with a board shot and that is enough to beat the homeless man. Wait, no it's not, the ref is bent. They try to figure out what's going on as New Jack is smashed again. They eventually decide it's over the top eliminations only. Pogo the Clown joins the rumble. He is the extreme clown. The clown spears New Jack in the corner. A low clothesline from Pogo the Clown flattens Jack. The next man to join the match is Damien CCC. He hits Jack with a crutch. Jack does eventually manage to land a clothesline, but as that happens, Halloween joins the match and sprays Jack in the face. Pogo the Clown is chasing major guns around ringside. How the mighty have fallen. Now Nasawa is here. I promise you New Jack is still in there. He's just not doing anything. Jack does have a chance to hit a corner powerbomb, but instead he just throws his opponent to the mat. A man with a homosexual gimmick called Angel was also in the match. Pogo immediately grabs his dick, but he doesn't throw him out. New Jack throws the homeless man out. Unfortunately, it was through the middle rope. One of the commentators can't even speak English, and he keeps calling him New Yak. For some reason, there's also a wrestler called Crack. Wonder if New Jack is going to work with this guy. Wait, no. New Jack actually eliminates Crack straight away. The rest of the guys all eliminate Pogo the Clown together, so that's two eliminations for New Jack technically. New Jack pretty much commits a hate crime on Angel, and then Jack launches him out of the ring. Damien goes out, but he's supposed to hang on to the ropes, but he can't manage it. He just gives up and leaves anyway. I would too. We're down to the final two people, and surprise surprise, it's New Jack and the Homeless Man. What a feud we have going here. The Homeless Man hits New Jack with a guitar, but out of nowhere Jack reverses an Irish whip and chucks his opponent out of the ring and through a table. New Jack has won and is apparently the number one contender for the TV title. I didn't even know they had one. The match was horrible and wasn't entertaining in the slightest, but three eliminations and a rare Ring of the Hawk Rumble win. Even if it was only against eight competitors, I'm giving it a C. And wouldn't you know it, the TV title match is the only one I can't seem to find, but from the highlights I've seen, don't worry you haven't missed anything. New Jack lost after 50 people interfered. His opponent was that Steve-O guy from Wrestling Society Ass. Besides, I've made this video for a reason and I'm saving the best until last. Alright, not the very last because things are going to get interesting right now. Match 6. I'm not sure why they thought this would be a good idea, but here we go. It's New Jack versus Vic Grimes. Again. It feels personal right from the bell. Grimes is out brawling New Jack and he smashes him with something in the corner. Jack bashes him in the head with a stapler to get him off. Notice how fans in the balcony are hoping for another New Jack dive. Vic Grimes is choked out with a wire. Trash can shots are used now. Jack floors him with a clothesline, but Grimes smacks him in the slash zone. Shades of Mick Foley now as Vic Grimes grabs a barbed wire bat. Jack has his face grated. They start humping a cuddly toy now, which is then ripped open and New Jack's having a good time, which is the New Jack we all like to see. The next attack was heartbreaking for me because New Jack smashes a PlayStation with a pool cue. Now it's a golf club to the slash zone. These guys aren't going to have any nutsacks left after this one. Things take a drastic turn now because it's an actual wrestling move for two. Or three. Vic Grimes uses a scoop slam and follows it with a second rope leg drop. He climbs to the top for a third attack, but he misses the splash. They fight on the outside where an Irish whip into the guardrail is turned around. Vic Grimes really loves using that pool cue. Or at least I think he did, until he smashes it up. He probably shouldn't have done that, because New Jack staples a dollar bill to his head. More nut-related offence. 
Grimes motions he's going to use a golf club, but takes too long and Jack gets him in the nutsack instead. We head up the ramp and out the curtain they go as the crowd loudly boo. It goes dark and nobody knows what's happened. Apparently that's the end of the match. Ugh, this sucks Sonny Siaki's ass. And this commentary has given me a serious headache. Wait, no, they're on the balcony. Yeah, let's put a guy who's legitimately scared of heights back up high again. They tease who's going to fall off the balcony for a while. It's probably going to be both of them. No idea what's happening up there, the lighting is so poor. New Jack's hanging off the balcony and after a few punches, yeah, New Jack falls through the tables. Not his prettiest table dive. Vic Grimes steals his taunt and the match is over because the bell has rung. It's ruled a no contest. The match was bad and it was nothing until that dive, which still wasn't much. It's a D. Match 7, final match, sort of. Probably the one you've all been waiting to watch. It's a scaffold match. Before this one, New Jack gets to cut a promo. He says if he can't beat this fat motherfucker tonight, he might as well quit. Jesus, look at that stack of tables. He swears that one man won't be walking out of here tonight. It's New Jack versus Vic Grimes in a scaffold match. The famous match that finally ends this feud. New Jack hits him with a keyboard. I still can't get over the size of that stack of tables. It's all New Jack, he won't stop the weapon shots. Vic Grimes eventually gets hold of his pizza cutter. But now he gets what resembles Wolverine's claw. If New Jack's head didn't have dents in it before, it certainly does now. If you haven't seen a barbed wire whip before, you have now. The crowd are strangely quiet for this one. I think they sense something bad's about to happen. After more senseless weapon shots, both guys climb up the scaffold structure. The comrades team point out that they're higher than the balcony, which has no fans in it, by the way. Vic Grimes is fat and takes a bit longer to climb. He's also scared of heights. They proceed to have a scaffold match, which is pretty much just two guys slowly moving around and teasing throwing the other guy off. But what you might not expect is New Jack pulling out a legitimate stun gun and zapping Vic Grimes like an overweight fly. Jack quickly hurls Vic Grimes off the structure who soars through the air, missing the table and bouncing off the ropes. Two thirds of the tables aren't even touched at all. Jack's back on the floor now and he screams something in Vic's face. The ring announcer tells the crowd to please get the fuck out of the building and it ends. Now look, there's a lot more to this, I'll try and keep it simple. Vic Grimes had reportedly been bad mouthing New Jack on the indies and laughing at the injuries he'd caused him in ECW. Vic Grimes was legitimately scared of heights and the owner of XPW and Shane Douglas talked him into the spot. New Jack said in shoot since that he was trying to kill Vic Grimes for real and he was meant to throw him further. If Jack wanted to kill him, he had a chance on that last balcony in the previous match. The other vile thing about this match is that none of the scaffolding was insured or constructed in a safe way. No checks were done and it was all essentially done in cheap and easy mode. Now I don't know what's real and what's fake between Vic Grimes and New Jack, but I do know that the owner of XPW, Rob Black, is a scumbag for that move. How much of this was just New Jack trying to add to his allure, I don't know. But if you look at it from this perspective, it worked. It established him as a crazy guy you wouldn't dare want to mess with. So if that's what he was going for, good job. Look, at the end of the day they messed the spot up and Vic Grimes didn't really go through the tables as planned. This could have gone so much worse and he's lucky he bounced off the ropes, otherwise it would have been Owen Hart 2.0. The match sucked, but it made New Jack this legendary character. I'm giving it a B because it was the most memorable match of this run, including the promo and New Jack's character work overall. Debate in the comments though, how much of this was real? New Jack says that from now on Vic Grimes should view him as God, as he had his life in his hands and he chose to let him live. He has one more in-ring appearance fighting a masked man, but it's not a match. And then he leaves XPW after a one-year stay. Now on reflection, New Jack didn't seem to really enjoy his time in XPW. The only perk he found was access to home movies. He completely trashed the Federation, calling it out for its adult entertainment links. In an in-ring promo for another indie promotion, he lets loose on the owner of the company, Rob Black. He looks like he's ready to smack someone out. He claims that Rob Black has bounced checks on him due to insufficient funds. Whether this is true or not, who knows, but Rob Black sounds like a piece of trash. Jack returns for one more appearance for XPW in 2008 along with Mustafa and the gangsters have reformed. They had a sort of match, I'm not sure it counts. There isn't a finish and there isn't any crazy new Jack dives anyway. Everyone in this match looks old and out of shape. After the match there's a promo where New Jack's either really suffering in pain or he's really high. He sounds almost dead, find this and watch this if you can. He takes credit for Nation of Domination and the Dudley Boys saying that they all stole from him, but he still doesn't care that he didn't go to the WWE because he would have got bent over there. He talks about his retirement from wrestling because he's about to get his own TV show as a bounty hunter. And he talks about the love for his bitch wife. This whole thing sounds like a retirement speech, but sadly, it wasn't and he didn't get to follow up on his dream. This is a great promo, not sure if everything at the start was an act before, but it was certainly the new chat that I was expecting. And that, my little friends, is the whole XPW storyline. After watching all of that, I believe more than ever that a large part of New Jack's act is exactly that, an act. 
He's a very good actor. If he could have been controlled better, he might have been a successful movie star. But he's just too crazy, and that's why I enjoy making so many New Jack videos. Now after all that's said and done, we've got to shove New Jack a final grade for his XPW run. And to be honest, it's difficult because it's such a nothing promotion to be wrestling in. Much of what made New Jack's run in Smoky Mountain and TNA special was missing here. It felt like senseless violence for no reason. In Smoky Mountain he had an agenda, and in TNA he had that Sharp Boy storyline, and those things made those runs worthwhile. This was just senseless with the odd crazy dive thrown at the end of a match. The promos were great as you would expect from New Jack, but that's it. I thought this would be better, but unfortunately the New Jack in XPW gets a D. I gave Smoky Mountain a C, and come on, this wasn't better than that, and if you don't agree I'll give you a slap.